What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Alex Hubeck here again, uploading Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Today is going to be the first episode of my Lean Bulk series, my Lean Natural Bulk. We're bulking up to 175 or 180, 180 or, I mean not 175, 185 or 190. I really want to compete next year, so the goal is to do this bulk leading into the competition where I'll then have a big cut to get shredded for it. So this could be that series for if you want to stay tuned, I'm going to be teaching you guys all the stuff that I'm doing. If you want to stay tuned to this series, I'm going to be teaching you guys as I go along, showing you guys what exactly I'm trying to do to really change up my physique. This is the first time we're really kind of keying in on my recovery, my rest, my, uh, my dieting, my training, progressive overload, all that stuff. So training really, really hard and really trying to blow up my physique to the best natural potential that it could possibly ever be. So there's no better way to show the first episode of the Lean Bulk other than to show what I'm eating or my current daily routine kind of is. Um, so basically, I'm going to show you guys what I eat in a whole day. I think we're shooting for around 27 to 2800 calories now. My weight has relatively been staying the same, which is good. I've been able to go from around 2200 calories to around 27 to 2800 calories over the last like two months or so without increasing like my weight rarely at all. And like honestly, the main thing with this lean bulk at first was to try to fix my hormones, fix my metabolism, get everything running to where now I'm able to eat at a way more comfortable level and I'm looking fuller, I'm drinking more water, I'm eating more carbs, I'm looking fuller, feeling better, having better pumps while also being able to stay lean at the same time naturally. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm doing, um, what I'm eating. So uh, yeah, we're gonna go out, I got our first meal, go get my coffee and get started with the day. This is how we're looking, like no, no pump, Lighting, lighting mid, like mid lighting. Uh, still pretty lean. Have like little ab veins, you can see them like right here. So that means we're still lean. I can always sell my physique. Uh, I am wearing these leggings right now, so don't flame me. Uh, they're super comfy, so. So we are going to go to Starbucks. I uh, have like a little morning routine. Literally every morning I'll take a shower and I'm gonna go straight to get coffee and straight to get food. I do usually eat out once a day. I don't recommend that for me. It's just purely because of COVID reasons. Like um, Maryland right now is getting so strict with because of COVID. And uh, I feel like I'm just in my house all the time other than when I'm going to the gym. I've, I've lately been lifting in my home gym as well because my gym makes you wear a mask and I don't like wearing a mask when I lift. So honestly like, just going out, the action of like going in my car and like going somewhere is helping my mental out a lot. So I don't even like need to go buy the food to go eat it somewhere. It's just, I need to get out of the house. So that's what I'm gonna go do. And then we'll get on with the rest of the day. All right, so I'm back home. Uh, lately I've been getting this like every single day, the salted caramel cold foam cold brew. Get that and then I got two, well I got a burrito and a bowl. <clears throat> Lately, I've been doing burritos. I usually hate them, but uh, because I'm cutting, I'm always used to getting bowls. Now that I can eat more calories and I need more carbs, I'm getting like more burritos. And then I got a bowl for like post workout later. Um, so I'm gonna eat the burrito now. It's gonna be my first meal. So all I got was um, white rice, double chicken, uh, a little bit of cheese, and like some like the hot stuff. Um, and that's it. So usually all I get this is like double this is double chicken and white rice. I don't get any beans, any guac, uh, no queso, no like sour cream. So I'll pop up the calories right here, as I always do, and I'm just gonna track all my food for the day and show you guys what I eat on a uh, lean bulk. Yeah, so I only had one meal in me, and I'm going to go lift now. Uh, so you like the same like pre-workout routine uh, on this on this like bulk. I'll have like two uh, Rice Krispie treats, either, sometimes I'll have two home styles, if I don't have them, I'll get like the regular ones. Somewhere around like 200, you know, give or take a few, few like 20, 30 calories of carbs. I like a fast digesting carb, I do the Rice Krispie thing, I guarantee you it'll give you a better pump. Bro Science, Rice Krispie treat, plus pre-workout equals really good pump in the gym. That's, that's all I can tell you. I'm not gonna lie, I've been training for almost five years now and I really like did not drink my water for like all of that time like I really was not big on it I drink a lot of energy drinks coffee and I kind of neglected my water intake uh, to where now I'm drinking like I'm trying to get a gallon a day um, around and with the increase the, the, the added carbs I've been eating I've been doing lower fats higher carbs like up to 300 carbs uh, I've been noticing a lot more fullness um, in my muscle bellies just because like they're filled up the, gly the glycogen storages are filled up the water you know they're saturated and stuff like that and I've low-key been staying leaner because of it because I feel like I'm losing my water weight I feel like before when I wasn't drinking enough water I was really watery around my midsection and everything so the more water I've been drinking it's almost like I look a little bit leaner because of it so um, if you want to go try that out for yourself so you respond to that drink more water for my uh, actual pre 
I'm gonna be taking half a scoop of Rekt. I already had some coffee today, so I'm not gonna full scoop it. And then I'm gonna have a full scoop of the pump serum. Strawberry maybe like I like a little bit more. So I'll have this. And then also I'm gonna have a few of these uh, magnified pump caps. If I have a really long workout or if I'm posing a lot, usually I have an intro workout, so this is what I use for that. This is really good, it's just kind of quick digesting carbs, it keeps you a little bit fuller and um, gives you a little bit more energy during your whole lift so you don't get burnt out. I eat, eat these Rice Krispies, take the pre, and uh, we're gonna go hit a workout today. I'm pretty sure I'm hitting back, it's a pool focused lift, so we'll show you guys that in the home gym. on the pre-exhaustion thing as always so what I just did I, I rolled first I used the foam roller rolled out like my back my traps as much as I can just so I can get a lot of mobility better range of motion um, and then I'm now doing these these uh, pull downs the straight arm pull downs um, to target my lats a little bit just to get some blood flowing in them so when I go to my like heavier movements or like my rows and stuff like that I'll have I'll feel it a lot more um, again I talk about that all the time if you don't do that just do literally I'm gonna do like three sets high reps that's all it's gonna be and then we get my actual my main movement um, now I'm doing close to your pull downs um, I'm gonna do them two different ways there's two different ways you can go about doing them I'm focusing on my lats on this one I'm gonna show you how not to do it for your lats and how to do it for your lats so if you're doing it like how most people do it you're not really targeting your lats as much which would be this <sighs> see how you're like leaning back target your lats more hitting more your elbow to be in front of you travels more than a direct path like this right um, so yeah, I'll show you that. You pull it right in front of you.
activate my erectors in my lower back as much as I can. So you'll see I'll, I'll stretch my, um, my scapula out so I get a full range of motion. Stretch it out and then I kind of arch my lower back a bit while I pull at the same time. So you get an ultimate like full range of like off a stretch and you get a full contraction. finished editing my first gaming channel YouTube video. I'm going to go link the channel down in the description. If you guys haven't known, I've been streaming uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday nights. Um, so we played me and Max Taylor, and then my buddy, we played uh, Phasmophobia. So I just like real quick put both streams together. There's like eight hours of footage, and I just went through and like did like the funny parts, and like a funny moment. So if you want to watch uh, stuff like that, definitely go um, check out that channel. Again, like my three biggest passions is fitness, well, four passions, fitness, uh, my faith, gaming and then um cars so i want to be able to incorporate that in all my content so if you're in any of those niches you know i'm going to try to make sure i can please like all you guys so yeah i'm going to upload this uh it should be up i'll link it down below again i uh, just want to let you guys know and i actually am about to eat again um i so this is this is the issue here usually i only eat out once a day but i did get an extra bowl i haven't had a post-workout meal yet which i need to eat um so usually post-workout i will do i'll show you guys usually i will do a um a bag, or not a bag, but one of these pre-made rice thingies, the, the Basmati one. So I'll throw this in the microwave. Um, 400, 400 calories, 800 grams of carbs per one of these. So I'll use one of these. And then I will cook around eight ounces of chicken breast. Um, and then that would be like my go-to post-workout meal. Uh, the only issue is I don't have that much chicken breast cooked right now. I only have this much. So, and I still have that Chipotle bowl, so I'm better just use that instead. Now again, that means I ate out technically twice today, which I don't recommend doing, uh, especially with Chipotle. They use chicken thighs um, for, their, for their chicken meat instead of chicken breast, so it's gonna be higher calories, it's gonna be more in fat, um, and uh, still have like protein, but it's just more in fat, so it's gonna be harder for you to hit your macro goal. My coach has me on like if it, if it fits your macros plan for the most part. I do have macros that are like the best thing to try to hit, but um, as the main goal is hitting your protein intake and then hitting your calorie intake. The fats and the carbs you can kind of exchange, but if you wanna have like the best ultimate look long term, make sure you're having, for me at least, it's to hit my lower fat goal and the higher carb goal. Um, so, you know, I can slack off at least one day of the week as long as tomorrow as I'm making sure my fats are a little bit lower and my carbs are higher. And for today, I'll compensate by having a lower fat or by having uh, lowering my carbs a little bit and increasing my fats a little bit um, just because I'm eating out, eating out twice. So probably not the best thing to show what I'll do on a full day eating because, again, the only thing I'd replace with this would be the exact same thing. It would just be I'd make it myself, meaning it'd be in chicken thighs or chicken breast instead of chicken thighs. So this is what I'm about to go eat. I'll pop up the macros for this. Again, it's just literally white rice and uh, double chicken from Chipotle. There's a little bit of cheese, but I don't I don't get much cheese on it. I don't know why, but you can put cheese on it. But um, yeah, so again, just regular chicken breast and uh, one of those jasmine rice thingies, or was about basmati, I don't even know how to pronounce it right would be my go-to post-workout meal. And then I usually put hot sauce on it. So this stuff right here and chicken breast, usually that would be, that's 400 calories plus around, what is it, 50 grams of protein from chicken, lean chicken, what is 50 times four? 
So around 200, like 200 to 220 ish calories of chicken breast usually. So usually it'd be 620 calorie. No, I'm so dumb. Yeah. So usually it would be a 620 calorie ish post workout meal. This one's probably, I don't know, probably around the same to be honest. It's just because there's not as much carbs in it because uh, they don't put as much rice as what would be in that other way, other thing. Um, but yeah, so that's gonna be my second main meal of the day. Um, and it is currently. 6 p.m. So, show you guys what we eat uh, later on. Hi. Did you just lick the lens? What? Say something. What? Oh, that's a hundred thousand dollar camera. Did you just scratch it? So, we are going for the third main meal of the day. It's 9 p.m. So, I'll eat one more main meal after this. Uh, we're going with steak. So, got some. Um, I forgot what what cut this is. There's some fat on it. I'm gonna only eat the lean parts. I'm gonna cut some of the fat off. Seven point four. That's fine. So, uh, the reason I cut the fat off is just because again, one gram of fat is nine calories. One gram of protein is four calories. So. Um, I want to eat the leanest cut uh, as possible um, for my diet. If I am eating steak, it's best to have like sirloin, like anything lean. Um, so I don't think this, this isn't sirloin. I forgot what cut it is, but there's fat on it, so I got to cut it off. Um, so yeah, we're going to do 7.4 uh, ounces of steak, and then we'll probably pick a carb source, which I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do English muffins. I'll probably have two English muffins with jelly for my carb source. Uh, either you switch it up between rice and that, so probably do that. All right, so lately I like these ones just because I can eat more of them. Again, until I get my calories boosted up to like 3K plus, I'm going to keep sticking with the low calorie options. And once I get over 3K to make it easier for eating, I'll go to like these. Again, it's only a 50 calorie difference, but um, I'm going to have two of these and then some jelly. Uh, so here are the macros on it. 26 grams of carbs for one, so that'll be like two of them plus jelly be somewhere in like the 55, 60 something grams of carbs. All right, so we got four of these with jelly, and then I got my seven-ish, seven and a half ounces of steak cut up right here. So uh, pop up the macros right here, so you guys see. Um, again, uh, keep it simple. When I stick it to my protein sources, again, mainly it's chicken or steak. Um, sometimes it'd be like egg whites, uh, turkey bacon I'm big on. So if I get bored of like chicken, or I get bored of steak. Uh, a lot of the times I'll do turkey bacon and egg whites for my main protein sources and then um, carbs It's always that rice or it's gonna be English muffins. Sometimes I'll do a little bit of oatmeal um, That's pretty much it for carbs and then the rice crispy treats um, That's pretty much come from if I get a little bit of fattier cut of chicken or fattier cut of steak um, I don't really have any other outs outlying sources of fat um, For this current bulk at the moment. Um, I am gonna get my blood levels checked probably in a few months to see how my testosterone is impacted from me doing a healthier type of bulk. Um, this time last year when I used to bulk regularly, I would eat a lot more fast food and a lot more unhealthy. This time I'm actually keeping it healthy even though I'm bulking. Um, I used to have the mindset, if I go on a bulk, I can eat whatever I want, I can dirty bulk. Now I don't have that, I'm trying to be healthy with it. Um, but yeah, so, just wanted to come on here and talk to you guys again. Uh, 2022, it's a new year. Um, I know a lot of younger guys watch me. Um, so it's a big time, you know, a lot of people ask me how to do like the social media stuff. And um, you know, they ask me like, I just get comment DMs on like people asking me about like what how they feel how I feel about college like they always say how like they don't like the field that they're in they want to do like the stuff that I do and I don't know I feel like uh, if you guys have never read this book it's called um, Outwitting the Devil by Napoleon Hill it was written in the 1940s um, as well it's this guy who wrote Think and Grow Rich which is a popular like millionaires book um, and the process like the things in it like still are is what's like true today uh, they talk he talks about these things called drifters which are people in society meaning like so many, I remember like thinking back in high school, I could just walk through the cafeteria and I almost would look at everybody and everybody was kind of like, it was like they're NPCs, bro. If you like play, if you game, they, that's what Napoleon Hill calls drifters. They could just kind of go through their days. They wake up, go to school, go home, go to their, their job, go to uh, what sport they play, go party, go home, do homework, sleep and repeat that process. And they don't think of anything else in life. I was able to reach past, one day you'll see past that and then that's when you become a non-drifter, like an actual like individual mind, you don't think like a sheep. I, I never really had that that mentality of being a drifter, even in high school I always felt different, I thought differently than everybody else, but you kind of get to this moment in your life where you're like, there's got to be, there's got to be more, you, 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 you're not content with like what you're currently doing, 
And it's like you think to yourself, like, there's got to be more. And you like, just don't know exactly what it is, but you just know there's something. That there's something else you could be doing. Or there's something more to life or anything. Um, so, yeah. So, like, my biggest thing was trying to answer that question was finding out my passion, which is, like, helping change lives in the fitness industry. Like, the whole Christian thing, helping lead others to Christ. And finding my passion, I needed to find a way to make it, a pur like, a purpose and making, making money off of it so I could do it for a sustainable career. Um, and that's what I've been able to do with the sponsorships and stuff like that. And I'm blessed to be able to be, to be in that position. So I know a lot of you guys probably try to do the same similar thing. And just remember, remember that you're young. You could spend a whole year, even five years, literally doing what you think is your passion and fail at it. And if it's not, your, if you find out it's not actually what you want to end up doing, you're still super young and you can try to something else. You know what I mean? I was lucky to find myself early, but I'm just no new year. Whatever you think about wanting to do in life, just go for it. Stop thinking about it and doing it. Like everybody asks me like, yo, should I turn my main page into a fitness page? Should I start, I'm thinking about starting to create fitness content, should I do it? Just start, bro. Like, instead of asking me, just go start and do it. Don't, there's none, there's no amount of preparedness or knowledge you can get before going into it. Just get it, and the knowledge you get from the experiences and the failures is what's going to teach you to be better in life or in that field that you're pursuing. So, just wanted to give you guys that. I'm going to go eat this, enjoy it, and I'll get to you guys on my next and final meal. All right, so it is currently midnight, and I'm eating my, or cooking my last meal. So, we got here. 250 grams of egg whites, um, and then I have four slices out of this, like, all-natural, like, turkey sauce, what is it, so, turkey bacon, what is wrong with me? So four slices of turkey bacon, 250 grams of egg whites, uh, this is going to be my last meal of the night. Uh, this is just the protein source, i got to show the carbs as well. Some oatmeal, instant oatmeal, banana, maple, um, I don't know if I need to do two packets or not, I'll tell you guys based on how many calories I have left. Alright, so this is what we got. I'm just going to do one packet and then this. So, again, I'll pop up the macros right here. Um, I'm a little bit over my calories for the day. Uh, I don't track it to a T because I'm bulking, you know, give or take, like, you know, I never know, like the Starbucks coffee, the burrito, like, it all, always could vary by the end of the day, like a few hundred, like 100 or 200 calories. So, all my, my fitness file up, I think I'm at like 2,800. Um, but when you're not tracking everything exactly to a T, like the, like, like I said, like when you go out, you get a, get a burrito, one day you get a burrito, they might add a little bit more chicken and rice, the next day might be a little bit less. So give or take 200 calories going either way, um, but we still should be in a little bit of a surplus. I'm going to do probably, I need to get a little bit more steps in the day, so I'm going to go on the treadmill for probably about half a mile, and then I'm going to go to sleep, and that is it for the day. So... I will do an outro in the morning because I can't be loud because my dad's sleeping. So I will see you guys in the morning. All right, guys. It is the next day. It snowed a bunch last night. I'll show you guys. I want to be trapped up inside all day. It's, I mean, it's definitely a few inches there. So, um, yeah. So I'm making the decision that over this this new year, I'm going to compete sometime this year. This is basically going to be the, the bulk, the lean bulk going into it. Hopefully we get up to like 185, 190 pounds. Again, I am natural. I'm going to do a natural tested show because I know most of you guys will leave me, but some of you guys probably still don't. Uh, so it's going to be a naturally tested show just to prove to you guys. Um, and so I'm on like a more fair level of competition. Um, and then I'm going to I'm gonna cut. I have a coach and everything now, so it should go well. And I want to be able to document kind of my road to it. I know a lot of people's series do well when they do that. So yeah, this is going to be my, my road to my first show. But um, I guess like the bulk leading, uh, leading into it. So this is going to be to try to get to my... Biggest, best physique, naturally, and then get to my most diced I've ever been. So, hope you guys stay along with it. Support me along the whole way. So, yeah. So, um, but yeah. So, that is it for the today's YouTube video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely was a little bit longer of one, but uh, I wanted to show you guys uh, some tips with training. Uh, I wanted to show you guys exactly what I'm eating. So, if I haven't already popped up the calories for the whole day, I'll pop them up. Um, but again, let me know if you guys enjoy when I do. Like, I, I love teaching you guys stuff, and as I'm going through workouts, if I have like a thing in my mind that I'd like to tell you, I, I like want to like let you guys know. Like, even if it's just a little tip. So let me know if you guys enjoy those. Um, but yeah, make sure you guys have liked the video, subscribe if you have not already. Turn the bell notification on because I'm uploading Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'm also streaming over on Twitch Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Grinding a lot of content. Next travel day, I'm going to LA, January 17th to the 24th, I believe, for the pop up shop um, for Raw Gear. And um, yeah, I'm probably planning on traveling to Texas here soon. Probably go to Alpha Land. I want to go to Austin. So yeah, hope you guys have a blessed day. God bless you guys. Love you guys. Shout out, Code Alex on Raw Gear. Huge supplements. Check out my clothing brand and my website, my programs, all that stuff. And that's it. Till next time. Peace out.